Well, how do there, chums? Tis I, Captain of the Steers, and today, chums, I'm going to be hitting up the Star Wars Outlaw official world premiere trailer, and I'm going to be letting you know what I think of it. So let's go and hit play on this, shall we, people? Kaboom! At least that's what I hear. The Empire? <laughs> They're everywhere. Holy moly! But the world here... Oh, Carbonite, Solo, Jabba, Remember Berries. Remember Berry. Okay, the little um, orc people. If I want to survive. I Cantinas. have to play their game. The equivalent of Baby Yoda. Freaking awesome. Oh, he's a cutie though, isn't he? Look at him. Oh. Oh, he looks like the guy got his arm chopped off in the original. She's in here somewhere. On second thought. I'm out. <laughs> oh, the motion capture's freaking on point. I guess. This is like music quality. Oh, slap. Oh, run, Bobby, run. Hold on. They're using laser guns and they're bouncing hunters. And they were like, what? 15 meters away. My whole life. Did she just say I've been held back my whole life? She did. She did. I just need a chance to finally be free. It's a bit cliche. A little bit cringe Wherever that those that lines. A ship is about as square as a lunchbox. Out, okay. Get off my ship, Jalen. Give yeah. me a chance. Alright. Trust, trust him. Trust him. Dangerous. Risky. But if you pull this off. You'll never look over your shoulder again. Never trust anyone that tells you to trust them. A Rancor monster! Remember, there is. I guess. Okay. Oh, I like the, the framing there. No mercy. He looks like that Game of Thrones, don't he, that guy? It's a big galaxy out there. And Stop. I'm gonna risk it all. That was totally the lot out. Okay. Boom! Love the sound effects. Freaking awesome. Star Wars Outlaws, coming 2024. 2024. Hope it doesn't get delayed, mate. This is UBI soft, you know. <laughs> okay, right. Anyway, let's, let's let's stitch that back to the start. So, people, am I excited for this one? I like, this is just the actual cinematic trailer. I'm going to hit on up the gameplay trailer in a minute, and we're going to look at actual gameplay, and then I'm going to come back to you with my thoughts and feelings on that. But on this trailer, I was talking a little bit throughout there, and there's a lot of things happening with inside the background of this. There's a lot of sort of things that I been, think have been put in there just to get the fans excited, i.e. the Rancor and a few other sort of member berries from the past. But you know what? It's all good. It's like I saw one of the uh, races of Greedo in there, you know? The one that Han Solo took out at the table. Now, the main protagonist, I like this little guy that's with the main protagonist. Very cute, very sort of uh, baby Yoda-esque. And there are, like, nods to everything that I love about Star Wars going on here. It's like the little uh, bounty puck there too. But there are a few things that are already sort of jumping out to me to say that doesn't feel too realistic, to be honest. I mean, yeah, I mean, she gives this guy a flying slap, which is, is fair enough, takes him out. He's not wearing any armor, so that's all cool. But then these guys are bounty hunters and they're right next to her and they don't even get a decent shot on her or her little chimp. So it's a little bit weird. It's a little bit weird, but at the same time, it is what it is. It's just some motion capture, isn't it? It's to draw you in, to get you into the world of all of this. And the fact that she says that she's been held back. I want to know what she's been held back by. I just hope that they've put a decent, tangible storyline in there that makes it believable and makes you feel like you're on side with this character. I hit up Rebel Galaxy Outlaw not so long ago, and I just couldn't gel with the character in any way, shape or form people inside the universe. Oh, I really like that robot in the trench coat. I think that looks freaking epic. Heck yes, it's very Blade Runner-esque, isn't it? But yeah, there's, there's a lot of things in this that I'm liking. It's ticking more boxes of what I like than ticking boxes that are concerning me. But there are some concerns there inside of this this sort of, uh, you know, this CGI sort of trailer. I mean, some of the staging looks great. Some of the interactions look great. But how do they come across in dialogue scenes? Let's hope that we see a little bit of that inside of the gameplay trailers, people inside the universe. So heck yes, let's jump on back on over and let's see if we can hit on up the next trailer, people. So here we are, gameplay. 
Let's uh, jump on into this and play. Ooh, lovely Star Wars in your sack. What are we looking at here? Work in progress does not represent final quality. Does that mean it's going to be downgraded or upgraded? That's the question. Because this looks freaking sublime. Okay. I mean, it looks freaking great, doesn't it? I still get it. Stop. This isn't gameplay yet, really, is it? Good boy. This is feeding into the gameplay, I'd imagine. If that's the in-game engine, that's pretty good. Is this now gameplay? Right, next. It looks Let's like it right. is. Okay, that was a nice little transition from CGI to gameplay. <laughs> Slap! Take that! that I like the fact that she reacted to that. The depth of field looks good. I don't know about the frames per second. That looks a little bit staggered. This is looking nice. I don't know what it's running on. I mean, it's got RB, so is that Xbox? An A to attack. Yes, that's, that's Xbox controls, isn't it? I mean, it could be playing on a PC with joypad controls. Hit the button. Nice. Understands English. I, I like that. Nice one. Okay, yeah, cool. Hang on tight, little buddy. I'm not good at stealth games. I probably would have already set up all the alarms by now. I'm not very good at jump puzzles either. That's why I like Starfield, because you can do what you like. You can take it how you like. I'm hoping that this has got elements of that. I mean, it's... Oh, I don't know. Uh, I was just leaving. One of the races like Green Day. Sweet. Okay, okay, we'll figure this out. Okay. I like the explosions. Explosions are good. Sound effects are good. They sound oh beefy. Shield. It's got a light shield. Cool. I didn't catch all those controls there. Oh, slapper jack! Okay. Oh, she got shot then, and she just <laughs> oh, has she got a bulletproof vest? How many shots can she take directly to the face? I can't see an energy hey, bar. Nick. Unless that's at the bottom. Oh, kaboom! Glitter everywhere. <laughs> I like all the half-built tie fighters in this yard. Okay, they're not really bullet sponges. It's not too bad, the amount of hits that you have Let's to put onto them. And it looks like you've got equal sort of health bars there. I like the rapid fire. Dink Ferric! I don't know what she said there. Dink Ferric. Dink Ferric. Uh, oh, grappling hook? Where'd that come from? Oh, that's pretty nice. I like that. Okay, I'm I liking the shadows. Well, right? I like the weather effects. I mean, look, look at all the very eyes. Freaking moving there. The particle effects are good. Now, this is moving fairly quick. And the popping and distance draw. If this is an Xbox, if it's an Xbox Series X, it's seriously impressive. Hang on. And uh, all the trees moving. We've got the laser fire coming in, the music. There's a lot going on here. And I'm not seeing much. Oh, look at this. It's like Red Dead with Dead Eye. Oh, I like that. That's cool. It's not like an OP power or anything, is it? That was close. Cool. Even her hair's moving and her jacket. I got the package. Where are you? Look at the little creature's ears and tail. Were you seen? I said I got it. Okay. What else matters? Should I assume we won't Shit's be working for the pikes anytime soon? Um. Well, they'll probably forgive me. Good. And she's gone. She's gone quite a distance from where she set off to where we're going to now. Now they call this a completely open worldy sort There's of game. Hope. We made it, Nick. As long as they don't put it too much on rails with the story, and they let you do side quests in whichever order you want, this could really appeal to me. Even though you are running around as a female character, you know. I mean, in this day and age, I could just say, "I'm a female that identifies as Captain Steve." <laughs> anyway. I digress. Was that Hera just there with the pilot sort of get up with the green tentacle head? It couldn't have been. Looks a little bit like the same race, but probably not the same character. Hey, Andy. You're late, Kay. Sweet. Doc is waiting. What? Are you worried? No. Okay. I'm liking this. No, but you draw. What? Not allowing droids. Be careful. 
Danka's a broker, not a friend. She can't be trusted. Cool. Who can out here? See you back at the ship. I like that it's got the reptilian race in there. They're sort of ones that are bounty hunters, predominantly. I like the tattoo as well she's got. That's pretty cool. Holographic pit fighting. And I nice. Still like my odds. The motion capture's great. And they feel Cave alive. This. Back already. I told you she's fresh, but she's good. Who's this? Just a friend. She's from the Empire, and she's Twins. got a load of lozenges stuck to her chest. Always handy that if you've got a sword broke, just pop one out. You said, Yum. You lived. <laughs> wow. I don't think I've seen a female of that species before. Hey, you got toys. What the fudge is that thing? You gonna eat that? Their investments. <laughs> or is that a gem? Is it worth monies? I guess it's worth monies. Wait. We haven't met. Don't really know many of you. Okay. Stealing illegal contraband, running with syndicates. I could say you're a threat this is gonna to the get empire. dicey. Is there some sort but of persuasion like thing? Smart. Choices. Bribe? Do not bribe. Thanks. Hmm. But I'm smart enough to get myself out of trouble. You pay the tax just like everyone else. Whoa, kid. Let's just relax. Okay, I think I'll be paying the uh, cash, to be fair. You won't make it off to Shara alive. Maybe. Okay, I kind of like that. That's not too bad. Split si split decisions. Nice. All troopers, I like all the screens the above them. Oh look, they're all being updated, those screens, with her face. She's in trouble. Get yourself out of there. There's not two you in it there. Pretty cool. Uh, could be. I told you not to trust her. I'm liking the fact that the ship's just coming in, you know, ambiently. Another R2 type unit. And look at this, this transition. She's gone into the ship. No loading screens. Take note, Bethesda. Yeah, no kidding. Okay, sit down. Take off. Okay, so there's not much ship control on takeoff. It is a cutscene by lots of things. But if it looks this good every time, and you get to see the planet like this every time, that's not too bad. But what it hasn't done is gone to a loaded wheel. It's actually come up with like a ship sort of hub. Okay. If this is another sort of CGI into gameplay as a loading screen, a bit like the intro, and it's going to happen each time, I could live with that. Live with that quite comfortably. Oh, and it is. Look how seamless that was. Nothing on the Oh, I like the text below me. Look at that. Isn't that cool? Very Star Wars esque. Anybody on the sensors now? Freaking awesome. I'm liking the dialogues. The actual writing is actually okay. Got one. Got I one. I'm inclined to remind you that we should shake the Empire quickly. I like the robot sound effect. Yeah, I'm liking a lot of this. Ah, oh, the boost. You got boost, okay. Have you got any sort of dodges that you can do here? I'm noticing that she's hitting a fair bit of that debris and nothing's really happening. Andy, get us out of here. Oh, I'm a punch. I'm a jet barrel roll. Very Star Fox. Let's jump. Oh, I'm liking that. Oh, just like the Millennium Falcon sort of animation as it jumps. I mean, her ship looks like a freaking space potato. It's very square, isn't it? Hopefully you can get new ships. Oh, that's so cool. <laughs> we made it. Oh, they need to have an online multiplayer game like this. They, oh, that would be so much better if you could create your own character. I'm already seeing the things that I want rather than looking at the game and just saying, do I want to get this? Oh, I'm dreaming big for the future, people. Dreaming big for the future. But you know what? That's quite a lovable, like, little creature, isn't a it? A junior toy. And she's quite a cool character. She's given that to him so, as a toy. where do we go next? Fair Anywhere enough. we want. Well, I quite like her as a character. Visually, she's, she's quite soft on the eyes, isn't she? She's all right. Like the freckles. Very cool. I think I can grow to like this character. Depending on her backstory and depending on what she says. So it comes down to the strength of writing, I think, people. Oh, oh what? And, oh, Scout Walker. 
freaking ace. Okay. Part of me is saying, sign me up and take my money. And another part of me is thinking, this game's going to be 70 quid. Wait for the reviews. Star Wars oh. Outlaws, coming 2024. Okay. Right, I'm just going to mute that, skip it back, and I'm going to jump over. So, I gave quite a lot of my opinions while the actual footage was running. Hopefully you could hear me fine over the actual audio there. But I think you get the main gist. I am excited for this title, and it has ticked more boxes than it hasn't ticked. There are a few concerns that I have, and one of them is down to a writing. So who is actually writing this game? Let's have a quick look-see. I did bring it up earlier. Have I still got it open in my tabs? I have. So this is the person that's doing it. You can probably see it behind me. Her name is Nikki Foy, as you can see right there. Nikki Foy over on the old Twitter space. She's got her own website. I've gone and looked at her website as well. So there's her website there with a little bit of write-up about her. And I, I, th I think it's actually not too bad, the write-up about her. And the games that she's worked on, all UBI soft type titles, including Far Cry 6 and a few other titles that I haven't heard of, Watch Dogs Legion, Oh, 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 that's a little bit painful. Let's watch Dr. Legion right there. You can see it behind me. I know that there was a little bit that didn't hit home quite so much as it should have done on Watch Dogs Legion. You know what? Let me jump, jump on over to the screen so you can sort of see that a bit better. So here we go. This is her sort of write-up. There's a little synopsis, Nikki Foy. And uh, just looking at her Twitter space... Maven of Filth. I don't know what a Maven is. You know, she's a writer or not. She, her, so she's got a pronouns inside her bio. I know that can be sort of like a red flag to some people. She's also got like flags and things in there to show what she actually supports or what and whatnot. But you know what? I, none of that really sort of bothers me all too much, to be fair. As long as, as long as there's no politics that get injected into the game. And it looks like she's really excited to be part of the Star Wars universe. And scrolling down, look at that. There's pictures of her getting immersed into the Star Wars universe. So you know what? Fair play to her. I'm liking her freaking tattoo. That's pretty darn freaking gnarly and awesome. I like your ink. Heck yes. Scrolling down a bit further. Ideas for Buff Woman. Okay, that's a little bit of... That might be a red flag to some people as well. But you know what? Women that can take care of themselves. You've got Ripley and Aliens, for example, people. You know, there are, there are women that can take care of themselves that I've already signed up to. And um, Sarah O'Connor in Terminator. You know... Kill Bill, even. You know, that's it. There we are. I'm just hoping that some of those elements of believability come across into this character. And watching those trailers, I would say it came across as quite believable. You know, like the, the flying punch and stuff and knocking that guy out but hurting her hand at the same time. And it, there were some body mechanics in that. You know, the way they threw the punch, they really did use motion capture to the best of their ability. So as long as that believability is drawn through on all of this, I'm all up for it. Heck yes. Especially the gunplay and things like that. And her being like a scandal type character, it could work quite well. Okay, she's just won massive points for me. Anyone that plays D&D &D or plays any sorts of roleplay games with character sheets and dice... It's got my thumbs up, Hercules. The amount of time I've played like Death Watch or even the Marvel role-play games or even Dungeons and Dragons. Yeah, awesome. That means that she's got a good imagination. She's a good egg in my sort of book, then people, Hercules. So like, we'll see what we we'll see what comes out of this, people inside of the view of us. So yeah, I'm I'm pretty stoked for this. Now the way that I. I, I, I was watching Reforge Gaming the other day and he was talking about all of this sort of stuff. And we was talking about Star Wars in general and, you know, I haven't been overly impressed with a lot of what I've seen put out there by Disney in the last couple of years. I really enjoyed Mandalorian Seasons 1 and 2. I even enjoyed Boba Fett. A lot of people gave that a bit of stick. And I liked Andor. Andor I thought was okay. It was a bit slow paced at times, but it did pick up towards the end. It had very cool elements. And Ashoka... I like some of the characters in Ashoka. I like the bad guys in Ashoka. Uh, I like the actual Sith guy. He was freaking awesome. It's a shame he's passed away in real life. He actually looked in better shape than me, so I'm kind of worried for my own health now, people. And I also liked his Padawan. She didn't say much, but her intense stare. She just didn't blink the whole freaking show. I, I think if you counted how many times she blinks in that, it, it would be you could probably do it on, like, two hands. 
because she doesn't hardly blink. She's very, very intense in the actual Padawan. I like those two characters a lot. I wasn't so into the main cast inside of Ashoka. Um, they seemed very stale. There was a lot of crossing of arms and just looking around pantively. Anyway, doesn't look like there's a lot of that going on in our side of here. This looks very action-packed, and I do like the actual droid characters, and I do like all the actual characters that she's interacting with around her. And as long as I get that sort of feeling with her as well eventually, that I can connect with her in some way, shape, or, or form, it's like... I picked up Rebel Galaxy Outlaw and within like the first like 20 minutes of playing that game I didn't really gel with the main character. She was a little bit too egotistical, egotistical a bit too headstrong and there was a little bit too much slang there as well. It's the same when I hit up um, Forspoken. I just couldn't get into that character's mindset. There was just too much swearing in there for my liking. Although there is inside a cyberpunk it just didn't feel right coming out of the main protagonist's mouth you know so as long as all this feels very believable and it feels very sort of interconnected and interwoven like we're seeing inside of these trailers i think we're onto something fairly special with the star wars outing i haven't liked the last two star wars games um with the the main protagonist he, he's got like orange hair he's got like a little droid that's on his back i've watched other people playing it and I just found that the characters, all the bad guys, seem to be bullet sponges. You're going at them with a freaking lightsaber for like 10 minutes to take out a freaking stormtrooper. And it's like, what's going on? And then the jump puzzles. And the amount of times they fell in holes and had to reload and, and do it again. No thank you. Not for me. The last Star Wars game that I played that I really got vested in, other than um, Star Wars Squadrons, because I played it in VR and it was freaking ace in VR, but the storyline sucked massively. Um, was Star Wars The Force Unleashed. That was my favourite one, where you'd like a, you're almost like a grey Jedi, and you can kind of go which way you want with it. And you, you can actually bring down a Star Destroyer using your Jedi skills towards the end. You get that freaking powerful. Love that. Star Wars The Force Unleashed, for me, completely annihilated the last two games that I've seen. They, they seem to follow a very sort of set recipe, the last two games. They seem very much on the rails. This one states to be an open world, open universe type game. And if it's true to that, if you can just go where you want, explore, do what you want, sign me up, take my money. But again, like I say, this is going to probably be a 70 quid game, you know? So I might hold out. I might wait and see like IGNs or there's usually people that give an early access keys. I'm probably never going to be one of those people. And uh, we'll see what they say, because at the moment, this one is looking like it could be a contender for an awesome sci-fi game for 2024. I've already got quite a lot of fantasy games lined up. We've got Nightingale, Dragon's Dogma 2, Under a Rock. And there's a few others. There's um, Blue Protocol. There's probably a couple that I haven't mentioned. But yeah, a load of fantasy style games. Not much on the sci-fi front other than Ark Raiders. But I think I'm going to add this one onto my 2024 sci-fi list of games to pick up, play. Maybe do first impressions. Maybe do a review. Maybe do a playthrough, depending on how much I like it. But yeah, it's definitely one that I've got on my radar now, people. What about you guys? You adding this onto your radar? Slow to Mondo, people. If you like what you see, please hit a like, a subscribe, hit all those buttons. You know what you're doing. Heck yes. Until next time, people. Goodbye, goodbye. And goodbye again.